Hey guys, in this video I will try to demonstrate how to assemble the Mate and C version 5. You might know there is two versions of the Mate and C version 5. One is with the bigger battery, this one 21700 and one is with 18650 battery. The main difference in the assembly is the battery that you will be using. This meat frame this one is for this one that's why it's a little bit higher and the bottom cover so if you are trying to build the 18650 version of the meet and see just follow this guide and remember about this three part that is different as well as the PCB will have this battery holder here. I would suggest to follow this method that I am using to assemble this Mate and C version 5. Later on you can improve it. So let's start. Today's sponsor is PCBWay. They have PCB printing service starting from $5. You can order 10 PCBs in 9 different colors here. They also have 3D printing service, which is very reasonable. Go to the third section of the website and click 3D printing service and add your own STL file. Choose materials and other features and get a price. Check out their 3D printing service and PCB printing service from the video description below. First. Put all the keycaps in the frame, including the bigger ones. And if you see it's getting stuck, try to rotate them. That might give them a perfect fit, like here. After the installation of this keycap, I will use this tape to hold the keys from underneath. Then attach all your keys there. So this sticky tape will hold the keys from falling. Now we will get the main PCB, put down the CM4 as well as the joystick and the FPC cable. After that, we will get these nuts that we will put down here and here. Just this two knot for now, then and use the display bottom frame and put it like this way. And push down this two notch so it will be much more easier to slide it in then put it on the mid position that way we will have more FPC cable that we can push down in this hole now again make sure you have all the keys that goes in these slots and align the joystick this side as well as put this FPC cable in the hole now try to align the joystick in the hole you can use a tool like this to align it And after it's flush, that is underneath this socket, then you will put down your spacer that goes underneath here. After that, push the PCB inside. Now again, make sure this FPC cable is coming out in this hole. 
now we will put the mid frame you can put the battery here like this and make sure there is a cutout here so you can align the cable in this cutout like this way the battery pack you might buy that have different cable length so try to make sure after you put the battery pack like this it can reach the socket now after this if you have a add-on like i have here that is add-on apollo first put down your fpc cable like this and put all the things that goes in the add-on board and connect the fpc cable to the expansion fpc port that is mentioned here and make sure the orientation of the cable also after that you will rotate the add-on board and align these headers in this female header Now we will put down our first screw, this one. Now we will connect our battery. After that, we will put the bottom cover and face this side where the HDMI connector is like this way and make sure this hole aligns then align the top side and bend this part slightly outward so it goes over this and these features especially the headphone jack and also make sure the fpc cable is underneath now we will put down the five screws here Don't over tight any of the screw. First put down all of your screw, then tight them slightly. Because these are plastic, this might can break. Now we will put the nuts. Now I will tighten them. Now check all the keys, if they are clicky or not. If so, then we will assemble the display VCB. Now take your display and again hold it this way then put down your FPC cable coming from the display then put it on the connector. Make sure all the connector are fully connected by pressing down this flap here. Then put down your display.
now we will put the display top frame on the display make sure you have this thread attached to the display frame and there are three slots here that goes in these three feature like this then it's flushed then open your display slightly that will expose the screw holes now check all the gaps if they are flush if there are any gaps that means something is stuck in between the two frame either this two frame or the display frame looks like this is perfect here all the connectors are exposed correctly i can take out my sd card and when you are trying to put down the sd card make sure you are doing it like this not in an angle then it might go under so push it like this then yeah it's there it's flushed now we will try to boot the meet and see and check all the keys. Yeah. After the assembly is done, the final thing to do is take this tape and here your mutancy version 5.